SpaceX and Elon Musk reveals high-tech spacesuit for 2023. Musk posted a picture of the suit to Instagram where he made sure to alert his followers that it, quote, actually works. You would be amazed to know that it is a completely operational and functional suit and not a mock-up. The CEO of Tesla and the owner of SpaceX made a tempting offer to NASA for spacesuit making and locked the deal with its cutting-edge technology. It also may herald the return of wearable tech. What is the suit for? What does it look like? You will learn about that and much more in this video as we will talk about the high-tech spacesuit for 2023. Musk said that a key challenge of the design process had been creating a functional suit that had the right aesthetic. Make sure to watch till the end and not miss any interesting details about the space suit. If you're interested in other videos like this, make sure to check out our video on Elon Musk and Mr. Beast. You can go there after this one because the information we provide is factual and helpful and never is sheer opinion or hurtful. Let's dive in. Were you aware that Musk's SpaceX is the OG of making flight suits? Musk's company has developed and made flight suits for astronauts who launch into orbit in SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. The flight suits are primarily designed to protect the astronauts in case of a fire inside the spacecraft or if the cabin depressurizes. Building spacesuits would be a more complex and challenging endeavor given the need to survive outside of a spacecraft in the harsh environment of space. The scene began the moment Elon Musk came across the watchdog report about the agency's delay in the production of spacesuits. Musk went ahead and made a solid offer. Elon Musk offered SpaceX's services to help NASA make its next-generation space suits. Musk is attempting a number of interplanetary manned missions with his company SpaceX, short for Space Exploration Technologies Corporation. A key goal of the aerospace manufacturer is to make it to Mars with the view to establish human habitation. NASA responded by pointing to the agency's request last month to companies in the space industry for feedback on, quote, purchasing commercial spacesuits, hardware, and services. Astronauts on board the International Space Station use spacesuits designed 45 years ago for the space shuttle program. It is worth highlighting that those spacesuits have been refurbished and partially redesigned over the past decades to continue working. NASA has spent more than $420 million on spacesuit development since 2007, but even with another $625 million in spending planned, the Inspector General report found that the spacesuits for the agency's lunar missions will not be ready for flight until April 2025 at the earliest. As we mentioned earlier, Elon Musk made an offer when he found out that the agency was looking to make more spacesuits in a smaller time bracket. NASA needed new spacesuits for its Artemis program, which was announced by former President Donald Trump's administration and has continued under President Joe Biden. Artemis is expected to consist of multiple missions to the moon's orbit and surface in the years ahead, with NASA aiming to land astronauts on the lunar body by 2024. Although NASA has stuck to the 2024 goal, the Inspector General has warned repeatedly that the schedule is threatened by several major programs that are key to Artemis' success. Musk finds this timeline doable. In fact, SpaceX became one of the critical pieces of Artemis by winning a $2.9 billion contract to use its Starship rocket to deliver astronauts to the moon's surface. Interestingly, the spacesuits have a multitude of different components, which the Inspector General noted are supplied by 27 different companies. That's a point Musk also highlighted, saying in a tweet that it, quote, seems like too many cooks in the kitchen. When we think of astronauts, we visualize them in those cumbersome, bulging spacesuits. Sometimes the suit is silver colored or white, at other times a striking orange, and wearing and walking one of those suits cannot be easy at all. But now, with space travel entering the commercial domain, what with Elon Musk's private space company SpaceX successfully launching a space vehicle that has transported two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station, all that has changed. The redesign has not stopped with the transporter and its mechanisms, but has extended to what the astronauts wear as well, and it's being called wearable tech. Elon Musk just posted the first official photo of the high-tech spacesuit on his Instagram handle. 
Worth noting that this actually works, not a mock-up. Already been tested to double vacuum pressure, was incredibly hard to balance aesthetics and function. Easy to do either separately. It works. Musk says the suit actually works and was tested to double vacuum pressure. The suit itself is very white and very spacey, and Musk acknowledges that it was incredibly hard to balance the suit's look and its function. What is the big deal about the SpaceX suit, and what is it for? Musk didn't specify, but the SpaceX suits are meant to be worn by astronauts when riding inside the company's Dragon capsule. They're pressure suits, so they're not meant for space walks, but are worn by astronauts during transport in case the capsule depressurizes. The suits will be worn by NASA astronauts for the commercial crew program when SpaceX starts launching people to and from the International Space Station. In January, Boeing revealed its spacesuit design that astronauts will wear en route to the ISS. The reveal today is similar to photos of a SpaceX suit that surfaced years ago on Reddit. The design is very elegant and feels right at home in a sci-fi flick while simultaneously paying homage to the old school suits NASA astronauts wore to the moon. We compiled a list of science fiction spacesuits from worst to best, though in my opinion, this real SpaceX suit tops the list of best. Color coordination does not escape attention. Intrigued to learn more about the stunning SpaceX suit? Here is the amazing news. Elon Musk shared another picture of his company's new spacesuits, this time showing off a full body shot of what the outfit will look like. Shared on his Instagram, the image shows someone wearing the suit while standing next to a Crew Dragon capsule, the vehicle that SpaceX is building to take NASA astronauts to and from the International Space Station for the agency's commercial crew program. It's the second glimpse of SpaceX's space suit that Musk has given fans in the last couple of weeks. The first picture only showed the suit from the torso upward, but this image reveals the design of both the gloves and the boots, as well as the padding used for the pants. The SpaceX suit is the real pressure suit. The suits that SpaceX has designed are pressure suits meant to be worn by astronauts while riding inside the Crew Dragon. They're primarily needed in case there's an emergency scenario during flight. If the spacecraft suddenly depressurizes, the suits will keep the astronauts alive until they can get to safety. The suit features a helmet and what appears to be a low weight design. Given that it doesn't look as bulky as NASA's spacewalk suits, this is probably more of a flight suit meant to be worn by passengers traveling inside the ship rather than for spacewalks. Do you want to learn about the actual designer of this high-tech space suit? Reportedly, when SpaceX founder Elon Musk first went to Jose Fernandez, who designed costumes for superhero characters like Batman, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, and X-Men 2, Fernandez's stupefied reaction to someone was, what's SpaceX? Fernandez apparently later went on to design the prototype spacesuit, working on it for six months that was later reverse engineered by scientific experts to comply with space travel requirements. Now that's called attention to detail. That is mind blowing, isn't it? The black and white spacesuits that have made history are now being referred to as the Musk suit, somewhat reminiscent of the tuxedo style suits that Star Trek characters wore in that hugely popular sci-fi television series. The New York Times reports that Gary Westfall, the author of the spacesuit film, A History 1918 to 1969, said, quote, As long as space travel was being subsidized by governments, there was no need to make the suits attractive, as the astronaut's safety was the sole concern. Yet, if space travel is going to become an activity of private companies seeking profits, they have a natural interest in making their astronauts seem attractive. What you serve up has to look good as well. For what the eyes consume matter as much as what your ears and mind consume. At least it's good to make an impression. Some critics even said that Elon Musk's SpaceX suit is like a tuxedo for the Starship Enterprise. Is style the only noticeable thing about the suit? Big no. The Musk suit is more than just a stylish color coordinated statement. It is completely functional and the reason it does not look half as bulky and esoteric as the earlier ones did is that the astronauts wearing them will stay put at the space station and are not required to do spacewalks and related activities that would warrant a far more tech-enabled craft-like spacesuit with several extensions, wires, 
and pipes. An interesting bit of information is that Elon Musk's mother is a model, and so perhaps style is something the lad grew up with. Be that as it may, the fact remains that with Musk's pioneering space venture, the entire complexion of space travel is set to change in big ways. What it will cost, who it will be accountable to, what it will yield, and yes, also how the crew and their machines look and the way ventures are branded and marketed. Elon Musk's SpaceX has certainly gone where no business has gone before, and it indeed requires a great deal of vision, confidence, and faith to be able to see that dream through, howsoever spaced out it might have seemed at first. Do you like the high-tech spacesuit, or should we say the Musk suit? Take it to the comments section and let us know your opinion. So this was all from today's video. Make sure you have hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.